Ubuntu 22.04 has been released that brings GNOME 42 desktop, kernel 5.15, Yaru GTK theme with accent colors, built-in screen recorder, and more. This is Ubuntu 22.04 running on Raspberry Pi 4. If you are the one who is eagerly waiting to experience the GNOME 42 on Raspberry Pi 4, then Ubuntu 22.04 is the one you must try. Hey guys, KSQL here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu 22.04 on Raspberry Pi 4 and turn it into a full-fledged desktop computer. Before heading into the installation part, let me show you guys a quick look at Ubuntu 22.04 LTS running on Raspberry Pi 4. Alright, so this is the default desktop you get in Ubuntu 22.04. If you are coming from 20.04, you may notice many visual improvements and changes throughout the system. GNOME 42 is now the default desktop environment of Ubuntu, which brings in new workspaces, a customizable dock, system-wide dark mode, accent colors, and more. With Ubuntu 22.04, you can now move anything to the desktop. You can drag and drop any file to the desktop to access it very easily right from the home screen. After installing Ubuntu on Raspberry Pi 4, the first thing that I did was removing the snaps. The default Firefox browser is now shipped as a snap package, which takes a lot of time to launch, and I decided to remove the snap support on Ubuntu to make sure everything goes well. In replacement to Firefox, I'm using a Chromium web browser, which is excellent for browsing, watching movies, videos, and more. When it comes to video playback, it can play any video from YouTube in 720p without any frame drops. The video playback was very smooth, but if you upscale the video resolution, it does heat a lot. When it comes to performance, it feels like you're using an old computer. The GNOME desktop experience is very good, but it feels a bit heavy for Raspberry Pi 4. And most of the time, you may notice a minor glitch in animations and transitions. The app opening speeds are okay, okay. Not so fast or quick unless you have installed Ubuntu on SSD. Compared to the Raspberry Pi OS, Ubuntu 22.04 feels a bit heavy, but the optimizations they made for Raspberry Pi 4 end up handling the OS without any major issues. Now keep in mind, if you are running Ubuntu 22.04 on a 4GB variant, you may notice laggy performance, but once you are used to it, it won't disappoint you. I believe the 8GB model may provide a decent user experience. The basic things like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth work just fine without any issues. Now that being said, let's get into the installation video. The prerequisites of this video, you need a Raspberry Pi 4 or 400 with at least a 4 gigs of RAM. A monitor, keyboard, mouse, and power supply are needed. An external SSD is required to install OS. I don't recommend using a micro SD card, which provides a terrible user experience. Now make sure the EEPROM or the bootloader on your Raspberry Pi 4 is updated that supports USB booting. Lastly, you need a computer running Linux, Windows, or Mac OS to create a bootable disk with Ubuntu for Raspberry Pi 4. Alright, first and foremost, go ahead and open your favorite browser, then the first link takes you to the official website of Ubuntu. Choose the download option and click on Ubuntu 22.04 from here, then choose Raspberry Pi from the top menu. The second link which takes you to this page and download the Raspberry Pi Imager tool. Once it's done downloading all of the files, place them somewhere on your computer for easier navigation. Now go ahead and install the Raspberry Pi Imager tool on your computer and open it. Now 
Now connect the external SSD to your computer via USB port. Then choose OS and select custom option. Now import the downloaded image file. Now choose storage, then select the drive. In my case, I'm using the SSD for faster performance. Then click on flash to start creating a bootable drive with Ubuntu 2204. Sit back and relax, the process will take some time depending on the writing speeds of the drive. As you can see, it has done flashing. Now go ahead and eject the USB drive. Now connect the SSD to the USB 3 port on Raspberry Pi 4. Then connect to monitor, keyboard, mouse, power supply, and Ethernet cable for internet connection. Once it's done connecting all the things, turn on your Raspberry Pi 4. Now wait for a few seconds. The first boot will take around 25 seconds if you are booting from the SSD. Now go ahead and set up the Ubuntu desktop on your Raspberry Pi 4 by following the on-screen instructions. Once it's done, the Raspberry Pi 4 will be rebooted and log in with your credentials. And voila, this is how you install Ubuntu 2204 LTS on Raspberry Pi 4. Now keep in mind, as of now, overclocking is not working with Ubuntu. I tried overclocking to 2GHz, it ended up facing a boot loop. And that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Rao. I'll catch you in my next one. Bye-bye.